At this point, you've made a lot of progress on Bullseye, and your to-do list is getting shorter and shorter. Your next step is to calculate the player's score, which is based on how close the player gets the slider to the target value. And this leads me to your next challenge. Your challenge is to pause the video and write down in plain English how you would calculate the difference between the slider value and the target value. For example, if the target value is 73 and the user drags the slider to 56, well, the difference is 17. And another example, if the slider value is 73 and the user drags the slider to 85, well, the difference is 12. A simple approach would be to say the difference is the target value minus the slider's value. That would work great in the first case, but it wouldn't work so well in the second case because the user would end up with a negative number. So that leads me to your challenge. Your challenge is to pause the video and write down in plain English how you would solve this problem and calculate the difference so that you always get a positive value. Don't worry about how to code it in Swift, just worry about how you would accomplish this in English. That's it, now pause the video and good luck. I came up with something like this. If the slider's value is greater than the target value, then the difference is the slider's value minus the target value. On the other side, if the target value is greater than the slider's value, then the difference is the target value minus the slider's value. And if none of that is true, then they must be equal, so the difference is zero. This way, you're always subtracting the smaller number from the larger number, so you always get a positive value. Note that this is just one way to calculate the difference, and there are other ways that require even less lines of code. But we're gonna start with this way for now. What you've just done is to develop an algorithm, which is a fancy term for a series of steps to perform a computational problem. The algorithm you just developed was a very simple algorithm, but it was an algorithm nonetheless. There are many famous algorithms in computer science, such as the quicksort algorithm, which takes a list of items and efficiently sorts them, and the binary search algorithm, which looks to a sorted list to quickly find a particular item. Other people have already developed a lot of algorithms that you can use in your own programs, and that'll save you a lot of thinking. However, chances are when you make your own apps, from time to time, you will have to develop your own algorithms like this. Some will be very simple, like this one, and others will be pretty complicated, causing you to stay up late at night, but hey, that's part of the fun of programming. The academic field of computer science largely concerns itself with studying famous algorithms and finding better ones. The nice thing about algorithms is you can describe any algorithm in plain English. It's just a series of steps you perform to calculate something. The point I'm trying to make is this. If you ever get stuck while developing your own apps and you're not sure what to do, take a moment and write down in English how you would accomplish the problem. Once you know how to do that, converting the algorithm to code should be a piece of cake.